For the optimistic cynic guy. Shit, ho got a hell of a grip. It's never a problem to niggas is piling and bitches they all. Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy JRob447 back at it again with another NCAA Football 14 video with the UNCW Seahawks. And this time, my mic is finally working. Last time I messed it up. I'm so sorry for that. But you guys see, it's a bye week. So, you know, we got some things to discuss with this team. Now, you guys have seen last game was kind of, it was nasty. It's a nasty game. Darren, Devin Moore, he couldn't do anything through the air because of the rain. But when he was running good things started to happen now since most of this team is comprised of sophomores and freshmen the sky is definitely the limit now some of you guys might say that's not realistic it is realistic okay i've done a study on this not let me not say study but i've done my research i looked up ut permian basin or university of texas permian basin they're like a d2 d3 team and when they announced that they got a football team the following year, their team was mostly freshmen and sophomores and maybe like two or three juniors. So I'm doing the same thing. All right. So recruiting, I'm not that scared about because literally everybody's going to develop and it, the team's just going to keep on getting better and better. Now, after four years is where that's going to be the determiner. Like it's going to determine where we stand. OK. So you guys see, I'm going after some, we need to bulk up our offensive line, okay? We got to get people who can protect Devin, Devin Moore, all right? He, he is the guy. We got to get people to protect him. You guys see Derek Bell, we're in the lead with him out of Tennessee, hey. But uh, the pipeline states are so off. They are so off. It doesn't make sense. I mean, hey, I got Florida as a pipeline. I like that because Florida, they got some athletes, all right? If you're from that Broward County or that Dade County, then you can play. A lot of NFL players have come from that Dade County area, so they can definitely play. Now, if I had Texas or Cali as a pipeline, best believe I'd be ecstatic, man. Now, imagine if somebody got, like, Idaho as a pipeline. I feel bad for them. I feel bad. Or if somebody got Rhode Island. Trash. Buns. Garbage. So you guys see, we're, we're, we're trying to get a fullback. But this fullback, I applied points to him. I guess he like locked us out. He probably locked us out. That's why I can't apply points to him. So we're going to try to get Wendell. Or Wendell. Wendell Brown, yeah. Alright, he's coming out of a Juco. We, we do need a fullback. Uh, I'm actually thinking of creating a player for a fullback. Uh... I'm creating a lot of players, so when that video actually comes out, I, uh, comment me down the recruits. It's not yet, but it's coming up soon, so hold your horses, all right? And I'm only going to pick 10. Maybe 10 maybe ten to 20, okay? As much as I can do, because I also got to add some of my friends in there, because they, they told me they want to be in it as well. So, you know, Kevin Simmons, it's funny, because one dude who actually like used to be a camp counselor at my camp, his name was Kevin Simmons. It's crazy. It's actually really crazy. But you guys see recruiting. Not really that much worried about it. You guys see Robert Mitchell. He's stud 71. So when he gets here, I'm probably going to redshirt him. I'm probably going to redshirt every freshman that comes in. Unless they're better than the person who's in their position. And you guys see we do have someone out of Irvine, Cali. I do know a girl that who actually goes to UC Irvine now. UC Irvine used to be on my list, but I was like, damn, son. You know, they got a, they got a lot of Asians at UC Irvine. So if any of y'all live in Cali, UC Irvine got a lot of Asians. Like, it's like 40% Asians. That's a lot. And there's nothing wrong with, there's nothing wrong with that. But I'm just saying. All right, so we're also scheduling some visits. You guys see our upcoming schedule against the Appalachian State Mountaineers, then the Texas State Bobcats, then the South Alabama Jags. So we got a pretty good schedule. We're in the Sun Belt. All right, we're doing our best. App State, they're a good team. They almost beat Tennessee uh, this season. Uh, it was a very close game, to be honest. In App State, if you don't, if you, if you can remember, they beat Michigan when they were number five. All right. Also with App State, there is, let me, I'm, I'm going to explain this, so you got to follow. Justin Bieber's ex-girlfriend's little sister goes to App State. Yes, yes. How do I know that? Because I followed uh, Justin Bieber's ex-girlfriend on Instagram, and she tagged her little sister, and then her little sister said, in her bio said App State. I'm like, App State? 
that's that's in the same state I, I go to school. That's crazy. But yeah, uh, if you don't know who Justin Bieber's ex is, Chantel Jeffrey. She also used to date uh, what's his name, Deshaun Jackson. But now she's a DJ. So I guess she stopped dating famous dudes. I don't, I'm not sure. But here are the rankings. As you guys can see, it's still early in the season. Uh, Ohio State, OH baby, and you guys see that. Hey. We're not up there, but one, one, one of these days we're gonna be up there. Don't worry about it. Michigan, yep, taking L's as usual. Oh, Alabama with two losses. That's not cute. It's not kosher. Miami, they back. The U is back. Georgia, ugh. How are they even in with two losses? Three losses? They have more losses than wins, and they're in the top 25. Tell me. How, Sway? How? How, Sway? That don't even make no damn sense, man. But we're going to look at the Heisman watch. You guys see Kyle Hicks? He's a running back. Hey, he's at the top. I don't know how, but it's whatever. You guys see Alvin Kamara. He's also up top there. Uh, There was also a running back, Jalen Hurd, who played at Tennessee, who was really good. But then he transferred because I guess he wants to play, like, tight end because of his size. Because he's, like, he's like 6'4". No, he, I think he's 6'2". He's he might be 6'4", and he's a running back. And when he runs, I'm like, this dude is humongous, all right? And he does look like the type to play a tight end. So I can see where he's coming from. But you guys, look at the standings. We're 4-0 in the Sun Belt. I have the best record, technically, because we have four wins. Everybody else got three, or they got losses. And we're going to go into the championship contenders. That basically shows our progress. Now, they say they claim next year we're going to be ass. It's not going to happen. But in 2016, in our fourth season, they project us to be in the top 50, which is amazing. I'm telling you, all these freshmen, all these freshmen are going to get good. Really good. All right. Devin Moore is going to be outstanding as a senior. So you guys look at Devin Moore right now. He's got, he's throwing for a good percentage. Uh, his rating is really nice. He's got seven touchdowns, only one interception, only one. That's that's outstanding. That's amazing. As a freshman, 84 overall as well. And you look at Vernon Hester. He's he's been running well. Four touchdowns. Devin uh, Devin Moore has five touchdowns with 364 yards rushing. Jordan Robinson eight rushes. He does have one touchdown. Uh, Willie McDowell. He does have a rush as well. But look at the receivers. DeAndre Roth. He's been the hot man as of late. He's only a 66. All right, you look at Tim King. Tim King, a two. Like he's got three touchdowns. Jordan Robinson, you know, catching the ball well. We don't throw the ball as much as we do in the Buffalo series, but you know, we still put up points. All right, Huckabee. Look at the Huckabees. The Huckabee boys are bad, man. They are some bad man. They're they're a top. Like, come on, they're 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 scary. They're scary, and when they become upperclassmen, oh, forget about it. Them Huckabee triplets, just, just, just watch out. All right, just watch out. It's gonna be, it's gonna be, it's gonna blow you away. All right, now, also, guys, I'm still in search for a new series. I might not do it simply because I got Fort running right now, and I don't know. I, I'm really thinking about ending the Hofstra series though, because it, it's about damn time. Okay, it's about damn time. Maybe I might do one more or maybe go to 10, but soon it will be over. But anyway, we've gone through all of this by week. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Today was supposed to be a TCU video, but I do not have the recording. But don't worry, uh, in a few days I will. So anyway, this has been another J-Rob video. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and peace. When I touch a mill, I'ma be the same dude Split the money with my gang too And we be swerving in that Audi coupe